Hey everybody, how is everyone doing today? I hope everyone's having a great day so far. So in this video, I will be going over the very important 4 stimulus check news that you just have to know. There's a lot of progress going on everybody about the 4 stimulus check. And we might see President Biden send out the 4 stimulus before the end of this month. So let's just hope the Democrats and Republicans can get the job done. And don't forget that this Friday, tomorrow, I will be announcing one winner of a free $100 Amazon gift card. And if you would like to enter this free Amazon gift card giveaway, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family. Strengthen it for 75 years? Sure we do. I've got ideas, other people have ideas. But the idea that to frighten people, to suggest that Social Security is not strong, that it should be privatized, that the retirement age should be raised, that benefits should be cut, is totally unacceptable. So without further ado, Here's the stimulus check news that you have to know. Many Americans are about to get another stimulus payment from the IRS. Those payments are scheduled to arrive in bank accounts and mailboxes this Friday. And this is the second of all B6 payments from the federal government. This is more of the federal child tax credit that was expanded, that was expanded with the American Rescue Plan that was signed into law by President Biden back in March of this year. Republican bridge, but you do know it's not working and you know what it means to be accountable to the people you serve and to focus on solving real problems people are facing in your communities. But you also know that, uh, that often states and cities and counties can't do it alone. Everybody, don't forget that that bill delivered you a $1,400 payment to most taxpayers. And previous payments of $1,200 and $600 were counted as stimulus checks. The payment only goes to people with dependents though. If you have a child under 17 years old, you will, most, you will most likely receive a free stimulus check. There are hundreds of thousands of Americans who need home and community-based care services. And my plan expands home care for older Americans and people with disabilities, while improving jobs and the pay for the workers who care for them. Most taxpayers, folks, don't need to do anything to get this free stimulus money. Some people will fall outside the eligibility requirements, though and the maximum payout will depend on your modified adjusted gross income. So that's $75,000 or less for singles and $150,000 less for married couples filing a joint return. Now for those of you that do not have any dependents, well, another round of payments will deliver the same amount of money as the first payment. Parents with children under 6 years old will receive payments of $300. President Biden celebrated this in his passage of a historic sweeping $1.2 trillion bipartisan package. He said that this is a step forward, fulfilling a key item in his legislative agenda. What you just saw there was a party line vote of all Democrats, no Republicans, and it came just before 4 a.m. in the exhausted chamber. This afternoon, the president took something of a victory lap. In the past 24 hours, we've seen the Senate advance two key pieces of my economic agenda. Historic investments are on the way as well. And remember everybody, President Biden did campaign on his promise of sending out more stimulus relief than the previous president and of course helping out the great American people and helping out our seniors, which matters the most. What do you think about President Biden folks? Is he keeping his promise to you? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Biden standing alongside Kamala Harris said that he never believed critics who have characterized his calls to implement policies in a bipartisan way, a relic of an earlier age. President Biden thanks senators on both sides of the aisle, the Democrats and the Republicans, everybody, for working hard together to get the bill passed. Actually, the president said, I, wasn't, I know it wasn't easy for the Republicans who supported this bill. You showed a lot of courage, and I want to personally thank you. Incredible to be in that room the, the, the last two nights, hour after hour, talking to colleagues about what they think is important and how to get consensus. It wasn't easy. I mean, you understand how all this works. We all have very, uh, we we have many things that we agree on and, and other things that we want to do that others may not view as a priority. Now the bill passed in the Senate by a wide, par by a wide bipartisan majority of 69 votes to 30. Let's not forget that this infrastructure bill is gonna provide you, it's gonna provide $110 billion to repair the nation's aging highways, bridges, and roads. And according to the White House, 173,000 total miles of America's highways and major roads and 45,000 bridges are in poor condition. 
Now the $39 billion for public transit in the legislation would expand the transportation system, improve accessibility for people with disabilities, and provide dollars to state and local governments. Relief payments were intended to ease and support the economy in the process. So the third round of relief payments that started back in March were from the American Rescue Plan. And since then, about 169 million people have received up to $1,400 each, including another 2.3 million people last month. That accounts for most of the $422 billion set aside. Now these ARP checks closely followed the $600 payments from January, which came nine months after the $1,200 payments from the early days of the crisis. Look, let me just say this. I cannot believe the Republicans will let the country default. And we, it has always been bipartisan to deal with the debt ceiling. When Trump was president, I believe the Democrats joined with him to raise it three times. Again, I cannot believe Republicans will let us default. As for reconciliation, uh, Senator, uh, the, the White House and Janet Yellen preferred it be done outside of reconciliation. A, to keep it bipartisan, to stop making this a partisan issue because it's fraught with peril. Mitch McConnell seems to want to do that. I don't think he'll succeed. And second, because uh, reconciliation limits what you can do there and uh, doing it outside gives you more flexibility. Folks, did a $1,200 and $1,400 check help you in any way? Did it ease your financial situation? Leave a comment down below saying yes or no. We just saw a tiny blip of bipartisanship with the trillion dollar infrastructure bill that passed yesterday in the United States Senate with 19 Republican votes, including Republican minority leader Mitch McConnell. That stands in stark contrast to today when every single Senate Republican blocked advancing the Voting Rights Act before heading off for a month long summer recess. So even though Republicans can do bipartisanship, it does not mean they will. And because saving the anti-democratic filibuster is the thing Republicans care most about, senators like Shelley Moore Capito of West Virginia is out pretending that there will be many more bipartisan bills moving forward. So why get rid of the filibuster? Saying, quote, when we work together and really put the nose to the grindstone, we can get bipartisan support to move forward. That's what the bipartisan group did. So I think it blunts the argument on the filibuster. Well, saying the quiet part loud. The thing is, it is worth it for Republican leaders like Mitch McConnell to vote for a bipartisan infrastructure bill if it means preserving their beloved filibuster, if it means they're able to carry on killing other Democratic Party priorities, including the protection 